Hello again. Still at war with the United Kingdom or Great Britain or Communist Britain or whatever I should call it. Uh, uh, we went fascist because uh, the lure of budget was too strong to make me still commit to um, our limited democracy. Um, yeah, I'm morally bankrupt. What can I say? So I have uh, decided, despite not having crushed uh, British in the North Sea, to send my least uh, desirable units to the Far East. So we will. Uh, I have made a task force that includes. Uh, why did it include? Oh no 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 no. Reusser Geschwader, new division. Division editor. On Butler Brandenfels, wow, what a brilliant name. Um, I'm assigning my commanders after, after that seven times as many incompetents as uh, competent. Uh, three incompetent music lover here. Yeah. Loose cannon, torpedo expert, and do lucky. Okay, now we can close this one, and I'm sending two heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, my light carriers, and basically three-ish divisions of uh, maybe four of destroyers, so we are moving these to basically Southeast Asia to begin with. Yep. Just me clicking the save button all the time. Um, okay, France is a little bit annoyed, but if France enters, then we have Austria Hungary, so that's fine. Carrier battle. Oh, that's interesting. They have six carriers and four light carriers. We have nine carriers. It should, um, it will probably be bad weather. It's February west of uh, Iceland. Uh, by the way, I think that precise location is somewhat overused. Why, why does it have to do this? I have signed everyone destroyers. And yeah, screen. Basically because I have them on support, it feels like it needs to. Main force. Okay, so we have plenty of uh, and it's splitting my carriers and it's mixing my battle cruisers with my battleships uh, carrier force. So six carriers, 
Uh, nine car okay, so all my carries. Sorry, I take it back. Yeah. Uh, I don't think any of the, well, not any large number of British ships. Uh, and it will be dark soon, of course, in uh, three hours. So if we find them immediately, then maybe. This is the High Seas Fleet. This is the... Okay, so we are going to go west and then just bump into the coast, presumably. Um, These guys are all nine battleships and six battle cruisers. I think that is maybe all. So converted so many and hidden beneath there are three heavy cruisers. So uh, yeah, maybe I forgot to assign escorts. We have destroyers, but I think that's fine. But uh, let's uh, save. Yeah, hello. So I'm back again in my yellow hoodie. Um, I didn't have time to really play this yesterday, so. And some in real life playing to do. Uh, yes, this is the carrier force. This is the main force. Although. We actually have three fleet carriers here. We have six fleet carriers here. We can see darkness is approaching. Three hours, so if we spot something very quickly, then we could get some action done. But it is a 1700 minute long, almost 30 hours, so it will run into the next day as well. This is far to the north, so days aren't very long, so uh, there is a risk that we could not detect one another at all, or that more likely the enemy will detect me and start bombing me, and I won't see anyone. Mm. We look at the carrier force. <clears throat> I had a quick look before starting. It has the search pattern here, while the main force has this sorry, wrong button? Has this search pattern here, <coughs> and you can also see the flagship is heading in that general direction. That doesn't mean that the enemy is exactly in this uh, area, but uh, more likely than not, is somewhere in this area and probably not super close because it's a long scenario in the carrier age where typically carriers are pretty far away so i mean he could be in sort of this area but i would think likely uh, without uh, gaming the system too much uh gentle breeze so that's super nice overcast uh, okay um, doesn't limit air operations much not enough to get any notes here so basically if we can find the enemy and possibly get a sort of a bombing run that would be great but then we have a long night and we have radar so we could use our battle cruisers to actually hunt down the enemy but let's start with this I mean, I don't have 300 uh, mile uh, search range anyway, so uh, <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. We will do the heavy cap. I think we can uh, reduce the right search angle here quite a bit. Uh, we can do this because... Um, um, yeah, these guys also have three carriers, and so they can do sort of an overlapping search here. Um, they can do heavy as well. And then we can just... Uh, yeah, why not? No. And now we have sort of... Uh, we have this area covered anyway, so I think that would be 
could be good if there is anything to find that is uh, can request uh, I remember why I couldn't retrain my fighters for night operations. This is the same question that pops up into my head each time I play, because you have to have another tech as well to allow night, actual night operations. So uh, I, I'm not sure why I always get confused, but I get, why, why, why can't I do this? And nation is very simple. I haven't the right text. Um, so we can request that. <coughs> Sorry. So we have uh, these two battle lines. These are the 17 inches and the 415 inches. I'm not sure. It's a carrier battle, so maybe we won't actually do anything. Now, what is uh, my battle cruisers? It's a core. And this one is screen. Okay, so this one screens uh, the battle division, and the other one just cores it. Um, but I also have the cruisers here overlapping, and they are screening. No. I will do this instead. Not sure what kind of ship it has turned around here. Is it uh, Kreuzers? Uh, yes, probably. No, it was the battle cruisers. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to turn around. These are going 18 knots. These are going 25 knots. This one can go 20 knots by the way. That should be fine. The rest is. Uh... Do these have any form of screen or is it just. Um... What? Okay, so the torpedoes. Uh... I have some light cruisers here, but what are these guys doing? They are. Okay, yeah, they are supporting uh, some of the carrier divisions. That's fine, I think. Oh, sorry. So they have to go north mostly north uh, to uh, almost precisely north to go into the wind I think I want to bring them this direction so then I will maybe be in this area and maybe go around here I don't want them to get too far away we also have, has, have this picket line of subs not sure what that means, but uh, okay. So let's see here. If I do a coordinated strike, I'm not sure how long that would take. CV. So it's ready in uh, some fighters and some bombers. Bombers, fighters. Yeah, I suppose that's fine. B e and D. This one has some dive bombers as well. This is Light Cruiser Division 26. Is that the What? 
Oh, it's probably you seeing English names for them or something. <clears throat> okay, so we have some planes here as well. I can't directly control any of them. Nature Week, we have some fighters, some bombers, some spotter planes, all sorts. No, they are too far away. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. No, no, I can't clear it. It's that. Aiming for these guys instead. Port. That's what I was trying to do. I didn't want any of these to have uh, any special Surely there has to be a way to clear this? No? Okay. Um can I support myself? Why? Report torpedo division. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Go the speed. Uh -huh. Did I forget anything important? No, I don't think so. Yeah, my recon planes are going out, but ankle one nine eight. Uh, I feel like my carriers aren't really contributing much to such as sand. Do I have to do something? Special dive bomber, it's a naval strike. I know the dive, <coughs> dive bombers can go on recon, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm not finding anything. So I'm not finding anything yet. This is approaching. And, uh, I guess that's uh, boring. Yeah, my recon is coming back in, and I don't think they have time to go out again. And now we will definitely. Didn't spot anything. So. Oh. 
something of a disappointment actually. Um, down. Wow. A lot of clicking. Okay. So we will. What will we do? We aren't, probably aren't going to find anything. I mean, I mean we have radar, but uh, the range isn't that good. We'll just keep going. down the speed just a bit so how long until daybreak that's probably a 11 hours okay I mean oops we don't want to uh, go too far ahead no, we have no reports No, we didn't really make contact with anyone. It's kind of hoping we'd spot something. Maybe also, you know, we have these subs and we have planes and we have. Now I can just let's look at the dive bombers. And I have naval strike recon. I can set them for recon. That makes sense. But the question is, why are there no dive bomber on this? Uh, I probably just forgot. We should probably just take the speed down to cruise. We're not finding anything. I mean, the enemy was here, <laughs> where did he go? Um, assuming he was there, he could be here. I have started many battles in this sector. I guess we could uh, sort of head in this direction. What are these? Oh, it's a suicide squad. Okay. Can you just stop doing that? You just immediately stop going full speed in that direction. Is this also carriers? Yes. Should I put them on patrol maybe or something? Schwartzwald engines are acting up. Where, 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 where? Yeah, whatever. What? George! I wrongly doubt we have a ship there, but uh, can't be ruled out. That means these guys have to move in that direction, definitely.
SIGINT. It's the first time I get a SIGINT message. Signal intelligence. Okay. I mean, these guys are driving around at 18 knots, that should be fine, but apparently not. Oh well. Sometimes ultra fast is definitely not fast enough. Unknown radar contact. Oh, this is interesting. So maybe that SIG int message wasn't all wrong after all. But although I appreciate my supporting units wanting to be close, uh, don't understand why they have to go speed 30 and just crowd me. This is the battle cruiser. And where are the other battle cruisers? Yeah, over here. Okay. So let's go increase the speed. Launching torpedoes, so oh, wow. At what the? Huh. Interesting. Did fire at something. Not sure precisely what then. But we have definitely found the enemy. It's a few hours left until dawn. A few hours, so we will have to <coughs> ready our um, planes soon ish. That's a good hit. I don't think we need to do that anymore.
Ja. Not entirely sure. Show it, sir. Ninety miles, good, I think. That was the second report.
it's still moving. Ah. Let's go down here and finish it. anything I I I bet Yes, I can send them down there because. Oh, maybe we can launch at night. Is that possible? can try that. It's good. Botting is very low, so they shouldn't be able to uh, see me and fire torpedoes. I'm a bit uncertain how many of my ships have actually have the ability to shoot in the dark. I don't think I have a lot of blind fire capability. Doesn't feel like that. I 
just went straight past it. It's dead in the water, so yeah. Here comes the light. But the problem here is not that we are boxing in and sinking some cruisers. The problem is that, as usual, I have no idea where <laughs> the carriers are. That's the story of my life. So once this happens, we have to... players are going out
Uh, a bit too far away, I think. No report. Wow. Oops. Four. Five. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. I think these guys need to pump that at all. Not sure why this cruiser is hanging back that far. Mm. Heavy rain that probably prevents it.
or CV. Uh, possible? Or CV, sir, that would be pretty mad. Torpedo, that much damage. It gets weird. Oh, weird. Right. Okay, I had a quick lunch break, so let's just put this over. I have engaged the surface fleet. I'm sending part of my battle squadron. These are the 15 inches to cut off their escape. The main group is going over here. Um, all the battle cruisers. With this squadron in the lead, are quickly curving around to see if there is any substance in the two reports we have of carriers. I have my carriers here, along with some cruisers, and this is my main carrier force and some destroyers doing their destroyer things. I have a bunch of aircraft on deck, but uh, well, uh, and I did launch some aircraft. They should probably be back by now. Oh, to select strike, yeah, ready strike. Yeah, so we haven't actually spotted their. Uh, We have two, two movers here as well. I didn't see that. Ah. 
this is this is utterly preposterous i have high tech big destroyers and we are literally a stone toss away from one of my bases and still they run out of fuel they would never be deployed to see if they couldn't drive more than 50 nautical miles without running out of uh, fuel this is another thing about the game that annoys me no end this is not cruising across the pacific this is Reykjavik it's up there and they are down here and we did a little loop around during the night and that is definitely fine uh, their actual range is probably several thousand nautical miles at this stage so yeah get a grip game <sighs> i mean it's it's not a big deal but do you, if you remember a few battles back the british started with the destroyer or something that was out of fuel these guys doing they are just uh wing things okay it's a carrier here even the carriers have a uh, low fuel even though the base is i think there I think it's time to sort of head back to base. Just call it a day. I think I've uh, done more damage to him than he has done to me. is too close. Yeah, uh, let's do that. Let's just drive everyone home. I don't really think I want to be hanging out there doing things. I have no idea where the enemy carriers are, so this just gets uh, weird. Not sure why this one wants to be down here. Let's just go home. Uh, let's not. Let's bag a few more ships. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was too close.
Why are there British destroyers close to my carriers? And no one's doing anything. Find that a bit strange. Ito Strasser is avoiding torpedoes. Yes, and my heavy cruisers are doing not very much. Huh? But there could be something here. definitely need to move away from here because we have more <laughs> movers in the area well, maybe not the movers but Yes, of course. Um, that was uh, amateurish. It had to happen. But okay. That's no flooding. A lot of flooding. That was just stupid of me. Should have seen it coming. Just maneuver up alongside that pistol shot, so yeah, that was just dumb. destroyers so I have every chance of getting myself sunk I don't know this point I'm not sure if I care that whole running out of fuel so also one more battle cruiser to get repeated really a carrier it's only that probably a destroyer just touch it Basically everyone ran out to fuel and we have night time and then basically rain, so... Let, let, let's just go home. It's, I guess my start point wasn't too sharp. What the f... Um, where exactly? Oh, it just wandered right up under AI command up to the destroyer. Wow. <laughs> just 
Tried with, oh, it couldn't even hit with four. Ah, what a tragic game. Absolute stupid stuff. Anyone else who tries to commit suicide? So oh, if I put Lutso on the touch, it will go back and get torpedoed again. Radar contact. No, I don't want to uh, uh, play this game anymore. Let's just go to port and uh, we can just call it. Because uh, this has lost all uh, semblance of uh, something something. So this campaign is over. And I'm going to find myself a more reasonable game. You have to micromanage. You, they would just Yeah, let's not talk about it. It's not. I really don't care. I could an entire fleet can sink for all that. I'm done with this, it's over, finished, goodbye. What is this? This uh, the carrier fleet? Probably. I really don't care. Really, really, really don't care, and I can't still to enter port. Uh, and night again, of course. And some guys who cannot round this cape. Guys, going I'm not impressed by the pathing out. Oh. Yes, of course. I'm not. So one battleship sunk. I sunk some other ships. Uh, who knows? Uh, uh, big ships. Complete chaos. So I only took damage because the AI completely retarded so when I'm not micromanaging every single ship horrible things ha happen with regard to torpedoes I, I am absolutely fed up with these dead in the water destroyers that I've stopped because they are 
wrecked or maybe because they are run out of fuel or who cares but um, yeah I wish I could say that it was uh, fun but it was not particularly fun